Hey everybody, Guitars and Synths. I'm gonna do a quick test of my new Scorp um, Hapix sequencer, and I'm gonna use it over MIDI to sequence my new Oberheim XA. So let's have a listen. I'm just gonna create a real simple sequence right here. Don't have much fancy, and it's in polychord mode. I love this Hapix sequencer, it's so intuitive and it's powerful. So right now, we have the different modes like live mode and whatnot. I'm just going to do a step sequencer and keep it simple. So I'm going to just punch in a real simple sequence and let's go at it. <laughs>
So this thing is freaking awesome. I tell you, man, I love it. It's just so amazing. And it's very responsive too. You know, it's polyphonic and it's responsive. And just like the different filters you get from, it's almost like the greatest hits of Oberheim because you get all the different filters from their different synthesizers they made. Um, and it's very responsive. Like the filter envelopes, there's actually another set hidden i haven't explored it but i just started jamming on this tonight and it's really cool you know you got a sequence couple of sequences going from the hapix and then playing on it and jam on it is just really nice and the filters are awesome and um so this i was just kind of this is like the basic program so there's no preset loaded so you can kind of hear what it sounds like without the presets which are really nice but yeah i still have to explore this but i love it it was expensive but you know what I did save on it because I bought it on sale. And the only other thing I really think is it's big. It is huge. I mean, it is like like twice as big as my virus in, in my Moog. It's huge, but it is like an awesome synthesizer. And so I think Oberheim, Bob Oberheim and Dave Smith, sadly he passed away recently, did an awesome job on this. Because sequential, I think... Uh, partnered with Oberheim on this and it's just a fantastic synthesizer some people wish it had the blue stripes but actually I like the look of it like this quite a bit it's this is like I think the Oberheim X or 10 or whatever you call it had this look and it wasn't until they were later Oberheims they had the blue stripes so I like it it's fantastic and I mean I just got it and started jamming on it it's so intuitive and easy to use like you know I have to go through all these different programs and banks and figure out page two so page two you press the button oscillator level noise level um i think you set all this kind of stuff here you know the different um things here unit sync key mode filter key bed track uh i have to read the manual like lfo type so if i if you go here you can do um i think this is like yeah so you can set the lfo types wow this is cool so if you want to use like an OBXXA LFO, you can do that. OB8, wow, that's cool. I didn't know that, that was really cool. Um, I do wish it had push knob encoders like a lot of synths have, but this is kind of like a very old school synthesizer, but it's really easy to use. Like you just turn, I didn't even read the manual, just turn, you just press page two and turn this and you can turn the uh, key bed track off or on. If I scroll through here, sample, hold in, you can change all that. Wow, this is cool, LFO voices. Yeah, so you can just, pretty easy. It's not really like hard to menu dive. Like compared to other synthesizers, like my Virus, which is a great synthesizer for a lot of menu diving, this is pretty easy. So anyways, that's that. I love this thing, I, I think it's great. It's gonna be a great um, basis of a lot of music I wanna produce. Um, with the virus and my modulars and my electrons, I think I can do everything I need. Cheers and Happy New Year.